The Blue Engine 4 or B4 is an oxygen-rich staged combustion rocket engine under development by Blue Origin. The B4 is being developed with private and public funding. The engine has been designed to produce 2,400 kilonewtons lbf of thrust at sea level. It was initially planned for the engine to be used exclusively on a Blue Origin proprietary launch vehicle, New Glenn, the company's first orbital rocket. However, it was announced in 2014 that the engine would also be used on the United Launch Alliance ULA Vulcan launch vehicle, the successor to the Atlas V launch vehicle. Final engine selection by ULA happened in September 2018. First flight test of the new engine is expected no earlier than 2021. Topic. History Blue Origin began work on the B-4 in 2011, although no public announcement was made until September 2014. This is their first engine to combust liquid oxygen and liquid methane propellants. In September 2014, in a choice labeled, a stunner, by Space News, the large launch vehicle manufacturer and launch service provider United Launch Alliance selected the B-4 as the main engine for a new primary launch vehicle. As of April 2015, the engine development work was being carried out in two parallel programs. One program is testing full-scale versions of the B-4 powerpack, which are the set of valves and turbopumps that provide the proper fuel-oxidizer mix to the injectors and combustion chamber. The second program is testing subscale versions of the engine's injectors. Also in early 2015, the company indicated it is planning to begin full-scale engine testing in late 2016, and that they expected to complete development of the engine in 2017. As of September 2015, Blue Origin had completed more than 100 development tests of several elements of the B-4, including the preburner and a regeneratively cooled thrust chamber using multiple full-scale injector elements. The tests were used to confirm the theoretical model predictions of injector performance, heat transfer, and combustion stability, and data collected as being used to refine the engine design. There was an explosion on the test stand during 2015 during powerpack testing. Blue Origin built two larger and redundant test stands to follow, capable of testing the full thrust of the B-4. In January 2016, Blue Origin announced that they intended to begin testing full engines of the B-4 on ground test stands prior to the end of 2016. Following a factory tour in March 2016, journalist Eric Berger noted that a large part of Blue Origin's factory has been given over to development of the Blue Engine 4. Initially, both first stage and second stage versions of the engine were planned. The second stage of the initial New Glenn design was to have shared the same stage diameter as the first stage and use a single vacuum optimized B4, the BE4U. The first engine was fully assembled in March 2017. Also in March, United Launch Alliance indicated that the economic risk of the Blue Origin engine selection option had been retired, but that the technical risk on the project would remain until a series of engine firing tests were completed later in 2017. A test anomaly occurred on 13 May 2017 and Blue Origin reported that they lost a set of PowerPack hardware. In June 2017, Blue Origin announced that they would build a new facility in Huntsville, Alabama to manufacture the large B-4 cryogenic rocket engine. The B-4 was first test fired, at 50% thrust for 3 seconds, in October 2017. 
By March 2018, the B4 engine had been tested at 65% of design thrust for 114 seconds with a goal expressed in May to achieve 70% of design thrust in the next several months. By September 2018, multiple hundreds of seconds of engine testing had been completed, including one test of over 200 seconds duration. In October 2018, Blue Origin President Bob Smith announced that the first launch of the new Glenn had been moved back to 2021, which will be the first flight test of the B 4. By February 2019, the B-4 had acquired a total of 1,800 seconds of hot fire testing on ground test stands, but had yet to be tested above 1.8 MN pounds of thrust, about 73% of the engine's rated thrust of 2.4 MN In August 2019, Blue Origin announced that B-4 was undergoing full power engine tests. At the 35th Space Symposium, Bob Smith disclosed that the design of B-FA's power pack was undergoing a major change. Topic. Applications As of 2017, the B-4 was being considered for use on two launch vehicles currently in development. Prior to this, a modified derivative of the B-4 was also being considered for the experimental XS-1 spaceplane for a U.S. military project, but was not selected. Topic. Atlas V successor, Vulcan In late 2014, Blue Origin signed an agreement with United Launch Alliance to co-develop the B-4 engine and to commit to use the new engine on the Vulcan launch vehicle, a successor to the Atlas V, which would replace the single Russian-made Road 180 engine. Vulcan will use two of the 2,400 kilonewtons lbf B-4 engines on each first stage. The engine development program began in 2011. The ULA partnership announcement came after months of uncertainty about the future of the Russian Road 180 engine that has been used in the ULA Atlas V rocket for over a decade. Geopolitical concerns had come about that created serious concerns about the reliability and consistency of the supply chain for the procurement of the Russian engine. ULA expects the first flight of the new launch vehicle no earlier than 2019. Since early 2015, the B 4 has been in competition with the AR 1 engine for the Atlas V Road 180 replacement program. While the B-4 is a methane engine, the AR-1, like the Rode 180, is kerosene-fueled. In February 2016, the U.S. Air Force issued a contract that provides partial development funding of up to US$202 million to ULA in order to support use of the Blue B-4 engine on the ULA Vulcan launch vehicle. Initially, only US$40.8 million will be disbursed by the government with US$40.8 million additional to be spent by a ULA subsidiary on Vulcan B-4 development. Although US$536 million United States dollars was the original USAF contract amount to Aerojet Rocketdyne AJR to advance development of the AR-1 engine, as an alternative for powering the Vulcan rocket, by June 2018, the USAF had renegotiated the agreement with AJR and decreased the Air Force contribution. Five-sixths of the total cost to US$294 million. 
AJR is putting no additional private funds into the engine development effort after early 2018. Bezos noted in 2016 that the Vulcan launch vehicle is being designed around the B4 engine. ULA switching to the AR1 would require significant delays and money on the part of ULA. This point has also been made by ULA executives, who have also clarified that the B4 is likely to cost 40% less than the AR1 as well as benefit from Bezos' capacity to make split-second investment decisions on behalf of B4, and has already demonstrated his determination to see it through. Whereas the AR-1, in contrast, depends mainly on U.S. government backing, meaning Aerojet Rocketdyne has many phone numbers to dial to win support. Topic. New Glenn launch vehicle The engine is to be used on the Blue Origin Large Orbital Launch Vehicle New Glenn, a 7.0-meter diameter two-stage orbital launch vehicle with an optional third stage and a reusable first stage. The first flight and orbital test is planned for no earlier than 2021, although the company had earlier expected the B-4 might be tested on a rocket flight as early as 2020. The first stage will be powered by seven B-4 engines and will be reusable, landing vertically. The second stage of New Glenn will share the same diameter and use two B-3 vacuum-optimized Hydrolox engines. The second stage will be expendable. Topic. XS-1 engine Boeing secured a contract to design and build the DARPA XS-1 reusable spaceplane in 2014. The XS-1 is to accelerate to hypersonic speed at the edge of the Earth's atmosphere to enable its payload to reach orbit. In 2015, it was believed a modified derivative of the B-4 engine was to power the craft. In 2017, the contract award selected the Space Shuttle main engine-derived Aerojet Rocketdyne R-22 engine instead. Topic. Availability and use Blue Origin has indicated that they intend to make the engine commercially available, once development is complete, to companies beyond ULA, and also plans to utilize the engine in Blue Origin's own new orbital launch vehicle. As of March 2016, Orbital ATK was also evaluating blue engines for its launch vehicles. The B-4 uses liquid methane rather than more commonly used rocket fuels such as kerosene. This approach allows for autogenous pressurization, which is the use of gaseous fuel to pressurize remaining liquid fuel. This is beneficial because it eliminates the need for costly and complex pressurization systems which require storage of a pressurizing gas, such as helium. Although all early B-4 components and full engines to support the test program were built at Blue's headquarters location in Kent, Washington, production of the B-4 will be in Huntsville, Alabama. Testing and support of the reusable B-4s will occur at the company's orbital launch facility at Exploration Park in Florida, where Blue Origin is investing more than US$200 million in facilities and improvements. Topic. Technical specifications The B-4 is staged combustion engine, with a single oxygen-rich preburner, and a single turbine driving both the fuel and oxygen pumps. The cycle is similar to the Rode 180 currently used on the Atlas V, although it uses only a single combustion chamber and nozzle. The B-4 is designed for long life and high reliability, partially by aiming the engine to be a 
medium performing version of a high performance architecture. Hydrostatic bearings are used in the turbopumps rather than the more typical ball and roller bearings specifically to increase reliability and service life. Thrust sea level 2400 kilonewtons 550000 lbf at full power. Chamber pressure 13400 kilopascals 1950 psi substantially lower than the 26000 kilopascals 3700 psi of the road 180 engine that ULA wants to replace design for reusability design life 100 launches and landings Restartable during flight, via head pressure start of the turbine during coast. Deep throttling capability to 65% power or lower. Topic. See also B3 Raptor – methane fuel engine by SpaceX Merlin current operational engine by SpaceX Road 180 modern Russian kerosene fuel engine of comparable size Comparison of orbital rocket engines <laughs>